Well, hello everyone. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and good night. Wherever you are, welcome. Let's continue playing Hollow Knight. If my controller will start working again, here we go. Alright, let's go. Hey, Spiff. How's it going? We were going to the wa Royal Waterways, and we were going to see if we were going to get it in the city. Oh, really good. That's good. That's good to hear. I'm glad you're doing well. Ah, oh, shit. Wow. Wait, what the fuck? One follow off of affiliate, very nice. I mean, our bridge is right here, so I think we're. I mean, our bench. Uh, I'm probably dead, yeah. Alright, starting off swimmingly. Got every other requirement down, very nice. Bang. All right. Let's try this again. Yep. All right, it might be 13. This is actually like harder than any of the bosses that I've done thus far. What the fuck? Dude, are you fucking kidding me? There we go. Jeez. I don't know why I got stuck there for so long. And I've already done this. Is what I'm gathering. Well, what the hell? Yeah, I've unironically already done this. Back we go. That's the schlorper. That's not who I want. Hey, memester. Yeah, sorry for the, uh, delay. Making sausage and meatball sandwiches for your mom. It's been a long day. Yeah, it's been... It's been something of a... long couple of days for... But, I think things are about to start getting better. I hope. I think. So, we want to go down left this way. And go down into the Royal Waterway.
I don't think I'm going the right way. No, in fact, I went down just so that I could come back up the wrong way again. Fuck. Memester's currently looking through the filing cabinet for the foulest thing to greet you with this morning. <laughs> you can guess. Oh, God. Come up with memes in your head. And that's the filing cabinet. That's 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 what we're That's what we're gonna refer to that as from now on. The filing cabinet. Cause memester, much like Ziffo, is an encyclopedia for all things ecological and even like a wealth of video games information. Memester is indeed a living filing cabinet of memes. Thank you for the hundred bits, Memester. I really appreciate that. I have a mental chest of knowledge. That seems pretty cool. I just have mental illness. can't go that way. Dude, what is going on? What is that? How do I help you? I would very much like to be able to help. Alright, deeper into the waterways we go. We did manage to get the map. the fuck? Ah, here we go. Oh, wow. I have another mask shard. And so he gave me another point. Hey, that's excellent. We've completed our... I imagine this is for our first mask. So there's gotta be more. You have a fun fact. There are... 100,000 ants for each human on Earth and counting? If that's real, that's pretty fucking scary, dog. Wow, that thing actually just didn't even notice us. So I guess I would need to go this way and then hop down. But it doesn't look like there's any connecting path. There's a bench down here, but we can't get in 
is the problem. Ow, shit. When will I play a suggested game? Uh, we've got... I mean, I think most of the games that I've played have been suggested. It's just a matter of, like, there's no real order that I'm choosing. Hollow Knight was suggested. Dark Souls was suggested. It was kind of just, like, at the time that I will finish a game, that'll be... At least for now, that's what I've been doing, is when I've decided that's happened. What I'm... considering doing is, um... After I, after I kind of square away some of this RL stuff that's um, keeping things like, you know, stream started today at, at 1.30 instead of 10 o'clock, um, there are real life reasons for why that's happening and I, I'm not going to get into it on stream. Um, but... When, uh... When that's resolved, which should be very soon, um, I would like to have a schedule where games that are being like suggested will do like a one-off stream on, and then uh, it could potentially turn into like something that I'm gonna play and finish. But for now, I think it's been, like, everything that I've started, I've wanted to be able to, like, record and finish, and... You know, one day I'll, I'm gonna turn these into... into YouTube videos. For now, it's just the stream VODs, and the whole playthrough of the game. But... And I do say that I've wanted to finish things, but there's, there's a few things that we have not been able to finish. Like, uh, we didn't finish only up. I'm sorry, uh, no, uh, what was it? Getting over it. We didn't finish getting over it. But, we can come back to that. We didn't finish, uh, all of the endings for. Ah, uh, shit. We didn't finish all of the endings for the, uh,. The horror game that we were playing. I didn't finish Signalis. Um, we didn't finish the Deep Space game that was recommended to us. Uh, the one with the fart jokes and shit, because I thought it was just unfunny. The horizon's rosy. Thanks. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is this? Hello? The Dung Defender? Ow. Ow, fuck. Okay, I dived right into that. Ow, dude. Oh, 
Whoa, what the fuck? Whoa, what the fuck are you doing, dog? No, you fucking bastard, dude. This guy cheats. Wow, damn. The fetid dung eater, indeed. I bet he gets along with his Elden Ring counterpart. His Elden Ring counterpart probably thinks this is the most annoying fucking character in all of the game. He is indeed a legend, though. The Dung Eater would definitely just try to kill this guy, though. Almost certainly. Well, damn. Um, I'm suspicious that we're not supposed to be at this guy yet, but... We will try again. Now, I can't get to a bench is the other problem that I have here. Because there's an ability that I don't have. Or, like, an item or something. To be able to destroy the floor. I'm missing a certain ability. Yeah, I'm missing something. I don't know where it is, though. It's... But I think I can kill this guy. As I am now. Oh, and I didn't add a death. Oops. Here we go. Oh, that's not gonna work. There we go. But I think the um the charging thing that shoots out the spores. I think that's actually helped with, like, when we go to the corner and we're trying to keep him away. He usually stays away from us. The only time he came right under us, guaranteed, was, um, I think when he went into phase two. Whatever that was, where he started, like, flying around and shooting dung everywhere. He would try to come up right underneath me. Instead of just, uh, like, near me and then throw something. So the run back is a little annoying. The game is fire, some bosses are silly. Yeah, I like this game. Ah, shit. don't have access to a bench. So I'll try like maybe like once more to defeat this guy. What is this? Oh, wait a minute. This is in the City of Tears. 
of which I don't have a map for. Wait a minute. You again. Again we meet, little ghost. I'm normally quite perceptive. You understand. Uh... Wait, what? You I underestimated, though I've since guessed the truth. You've seen beyond this kingdom's bounds. Your resilience is born of two voids. It's no surprise, then, you've managed to reach the heart of this world. In doing so, you shall know the sacrifice that keeps it standing. If... If, knowing that truth, you'd still attempt a role in Hollow Nest's perpetuation, seek the grave in Ash, and the mark it would grant to one like you. <laughs> what the fuck does any of that mean? Memorial to the Hollow Knight. In the Black Vault far above, though its sacrifice, through its sacrifice, Hollow Nest lasts eternal. The Black Egg Temple added to the map. That's the Black Egg Temple? The Black Vault? Didn't we already go there? In the Forgotten Crossroads? We've already been there. We came down here before, I just don't remember how the fuck we got down here. I mean, I'd like to be- I'm gonna- I'm gonna go get our stuff then, and since we have City of Tears to be able to explore, which we've definitely been to the City of Tears before the Royal Water Waterways, maybe in City of Tears I'll be able to get this ability. So, hello. Hello, Red. No, I'm not. Hello, Red. Won't share my food yet. Yeah, you've you've got the eggs for whatever reason. Um, ah, fuck. We have to go like down, like this weird ass way. Shit. Alright, let's just go get our Geo back. I'm not gonna try to fight this guy until I have the uh, bench that's over here, because this is gonna take too long. Hey, Chirobi! How's it going? Oh, of course. You're welcome. Where is... Oh no, is my thing in there? Well, that's really annoying. Come here. Please, 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 come here. Oh, what? Yes, I am. I am keeping track of my deaths. Uh, there was clamor for it to happen through like the middle of Elden Ring, and I didn't want to go back and count, so I was like, next game. <laughs> ne next game, we'll do it. Thanks. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a little tedious, but I'm used to it at this point. Oddly enough, you kept track. Nice. We added the counter about midway through, but it was, uh, very loose. That is actually pretty funny that we both did that. The... 
the stream was pretty vocal about like, you know, hey, what's after Elden Ring? And I was like, uh, I don't know. Suggestions? What do we want? And somebody said Hollow Knight, and I was like, you know what? That sounds great. What was before Elden Ring? Um, before Elden Ring, Elden Ring, we were playing uh, RuneScape for the very first time. I'm gonna go back to RuneScape at some point. Um, but RuneScape is a game that is gonna take several years to complete. Like, it's gonna take a long time. There's so much content in that game. You too, you were playing RuneScape as well? Wait, what? That's that's actually wild. So yeah, I was playing RuneScape, and then after this game, I have no idea. There's a... Oh, just kidding. It did play it a lot when it was popular. Lol. Uh, I'm not sure when it was popular. I kind of live under a rock a little bit, which is not a good thing, um, considering my profession. But... It feels like it's still popular now, but maybe there was a surge in popularity. Never played RuneScape? No shame in that. I mean, I'm I'm 25, and my first time playing RuneScape was like a month ago. But yeah, we'll go back eventually. That's gonna be on my tombstone at this point. We'll do X eventually. Oh, popular like 2002, 2005 popular. Ah, I see. Yeah, I definitely was not playing back then. <laughs> De I definitely was not playing in 2005. A friend of mine um, had, uh, had like begged um, for me to play RuneScape just to try it um, when it was, um, I think we were in it was probably like 2007, maybe. Or like 2009. Around there. No, maybe it was even later. No, th that sounds about right. Because we were like in grade school. And I was like, nah, I play World of Warcraft. This game looks like it's weird and for babies. And he's like, please? And I was like, fine. I played it for like an hour, maybe. I did like mining or something and was like, this game is boring as sin. I'm never playing it again. <laughs> and didn't. I just never touched it. Uh. And so, uh. This past year, I had. I'd been playing a little bit of Classic World of Warcraft and been watching some YouTube videos for Classic WoW. And YouTube algorithm, for whatever reason, decided to recommend me 18 billion RuneScape videos, like Jimmy videos and all sorts of shit. And I was like, all right, well, bet. I'll... I'll check one of these out. Um, and it inspired me to try the game. So shout out to Jimmy. Guy's pretty cool. Ah, shit. Wow, dude, this guy's beating my ass. I would very much like to be able to find a map for this place. I'll take the bench. That's fine. You know what? Maybe the map is... We went left. But maybe the map is to the right. Loving Hollow Knight so far. Plan to beat it in the next three or four sessions. Gonna see if you should attempt 112%. You're telling me that there's 112% completion in this game? What? Damn. Dude, that guy got fucking dunked. He's in the dunk tank. He's dead. Bang. Ah, shit. You guys beating my ass. All 
Alright, so then let's try, I guess... Going this way? Yeah, we can't go up either of these two ways. But we can't go this way either. What am I supposed to be getting here? There's quite clearly something that I've missed. This is the door over here that I can't open. And this just goes up and down. It doesn't go any other way. That summons the elevator. And there's no secret up here. It was just a chest. Have to go to one of your mates on Twitch, he needs help. Hey, no worries. Thanks for hanging out, Spiff. Ouch. Till next time. It's your first experience with online gaming and other people. Hmm. Yeah, my first experience with online games was, uh, was World of Warcraft, exactly, but... I think that, like, kind of really shaped how I viewed, like, online games for a long time. I've since let go a lot of, 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 I think most, if not all, of the stigma that came with that being my first experience. Because I know, especially with, like, with MMOs, um, they tend to be games that, like, are very easy to become, like, you only have that main game, that one game, and then you get, like, RuneScape or, like, World of Warcraft brain, you know? And then, uh, you'll look at other games and be like, ah, oh, this isn't like WoW. Or like, oh, well, this isn't like RuneScape. You know? Dude, what? Where am I? Alright, this will take me back down. Oh, I see. Now it just cycles through all of the down options. Played a little bit of WoW. Your parents got really into it. Oh, nice. My parents are not gamers of any description. Raw. Dude, this guy's rawing at me. Kablow. It looks like there's something back here. Why can I walk behind this? Man, this music is gorgeous. Like seriously, this this music like just like stirs my heart. Make you cry. Okay. Well, that didn't end well for either of us. I'm not going to do that again. I'm not going to try to hit those. I'm just going to run from them. I wanted your silver bits. Now, I can't go down there. Oh, now I can. Let's go. Hey, that's nice. We just need to find the map. That's all I want. Oh, shit. There's a bench up here, apparently. Hey, it's one of our little friends. It's one of our little grubbies. 
Yo. Yeah, be free. Be free, little worm. Aha, uh -huh. map is this way. What are some of my favorite games of all time? Um, I've got a lot of games. Uh, my favorite favorite game from my childhood specifically would be uh, Super Mario Sunshine. It was the first game I'd ever played on a console. For Christmas, I had a GameCube, um, and with it came Super Mario Sunshine. And Lifetime, I probably have like I probably have close to 2,000 hours lifetime in Super Mario Sunshine. Like, I, it used to be, like, one of the only games that I had, so I would come home and just try to beat the game as fast as possible and was playing the game all the time. Um, it was also the first game that I felt like I had any amount of... Yeah, I, like, I was... For a while, I seriously, it was, like, my only game. Um, then I ended up getting some... Uh, some other games, I got The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Love that game. Um, Mario Kart Double Dash, which I like to play, but I only really like to play with other people. Um, and my sister was not a gamer. She was a few years younger than I am. My brother was five years younger than I am. Yeah, we had GameCube bangers. So when I was a kid, he was still, like, too young to be playing games a lot of the time. So it'd be like, I'd give little brother the controller to be unplugged. Like, he wouldn't even know the difference type of thing. Um, because I was a bastard. Still am. Make him noise. Isn't this a change from those twisting natural caverns? The rain does cast something of a sadness upon it all. But the architecture is simply splendid. Charting such a different space is quite the challenge, though one I've eagerly undertaken. Perhaps you'd care to purchase a copy of my achievements so far. Yes. Yes, I would. <laughs> oh my god, this is so nice. Now I can see where the fuck I am. Oh. All right. All right, I need to I need to run from this guy. Symbol of a bench. Insert geo. You're telling me I gotta pay to use a bench? That's foul. Wow, that's absolutely foul. New York bench in Hollow Knight. You gotta pay 150 coins to be able to sit on it. That's crazy. Oh, nice. What's this? Foul indeed, man. I, I said I wasn't going to do that again. I said I wasn't going to try to hit the bats. And here I am whacking him. So he goes one, two, three, four. Or maybe it was one, two, three, and the four that I heard was mine. My ears are better than my eyes. You couldn't tell about. You couldn't tell from this excellent gameplay. Of which I repeatedly make mistakes over and over again based on visual cues, but audio cues I tend to do pretty well with. Damn it, son of a bitch. So where else could we be going? We can go up. But can we really go up? I don't think we can. I think we would need, like, an ability that's, like, a big jump. What kind of build? 13 deaths isn't, isn't too bad, considering where I'm at. Oh, thank you. Um, in Elden Ring, I had... 
For your friend has a thousand hours in this game. He needs help. Surely he's like a speedrunner or something. Uh, and in Elden Ring, I was doing strength faith. Um, we ended with uh, using Malakath's black blade and uh, a variety of some some like different boss miracles or boss incantations. Um, and we did all bosses. We beat every boss in the game. Yeah, I have 2,000 hours in Super Mario Sunshine. What's really funny is I'll pick up that game eventually on stream. And uh, for having 2,000 hours in the game, my mastery is probably abysmal. And it's been some years since I've even played it. So it could be even worse than I than I think. Damn. <laughs> yeah. 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 Beamster, it was like the only game that I had at one point in my life. Are you kidding me? The fucking roof spikes are what's gonna get me? I missed. Dude, my magic is like weak. It's like, it's stronger for me to be using my, my, uh, nail. Oh, nice. We got one of these. Most hours you have in a game is Smash Bros. and Kingdom Hearts 2. Yo, Kingdom Hearts? So, that was the next progression of, like, where I spent a bunch of shit in my games. Funny enough. Funnily enough. Um, after it was time for me to get my second console after, you know, begging and begging that there were all these games that I'd see at the game stores when we would go. Um, and, at, you know, like Walmart and, and Target when we would go grocery shopping. I would say, hey, I really want this PlayStation 2. And finally, finally my parents caved and said, fine, we'll get you a PlayStation 2. And after I got Kingdom Hearts, that, like, changed my life forever. Um, Kingdom Hearts is what sparked my love for music. Um, because it was the first game that I had played, like, in my life that was able to move me. Um, like, emotionally. With regards to the soundtrack. Even though the story is a jumbled, like, like, ball of yarn. <laughs> um... It's still, like, for me personally, it's immensely charming, um, and, uh, I love it. Um, all that said, I've still not played Kingdom Hearts 3, um, so I have plans to play that eventually, but before I do that, I would like to play all of the Kingdom Hearts games on stream, because there are some other ones that I haven't played before either. Like, I, I hadn't played, um... 358 over two days or whatever, but that's that's like essentially like just a movie that you can watch in one of the uh, things. Like the gameplay is apparently like kind of mid, from what I've heard. Um, what is this? A simple key. Hey, look at that. That's that's actually pretty useful. We found one at the vendor, but that was the first one we found. Yeah, birth by sleep. Um, I, I hadn't played Birth by Sleep. Um, I'd started it, but I didn't, I didn't finish it. Yeah, it's cool, but the concept and, like, execution was mid. And we have 300, uh, fucking dream circles now so we can go talk to Baba Yaga the big witch promised plenty souls to serve soul twisted all right <laughs> yeah Baba Yaga I love anime uh, anime is the best. 
I'm a sucker for like slice of life and romance anime. That's how you that's how you know that it's it's altered my soul permanently. Yeah. It's the same thing, uh like which ones? Uh Kaguya Sama, um Love is War, Violet Evergarden's amazing. I watched that this past year for the first time. That was great. Um, I watched that while I was uh, traveling in Japan, uh, believe it or not. I would watch it when I came home. Um... Whoa, what the fuck is this guy? This guy's crazy. What are you doing? Dude, there's like no fanfare, no nothing. This guy just shows up and starts beating my ass. What the fuck is the matter with this dude? Chill. What's that about? Damn. The Soul Sanctum. Huh. Oh, and then we go to the Soul Sanctum and then we immediately leave. All right, that was cool, guys. Soul Sanctum was very interesting. Great area. There's nothing over here. Uh, I imagine we're gonna come out of the Soul Sanctum to this area. And that's our cue that... that thing. Yeah, this song is amazing. Ew. That guy looks nasty. Oh, yo, that's like the first big, like, DPS we've gotten out of the, uh, the, like, fungal little thing that I've put on. That's actually pretty good versus that guy, because it seems like he doesn't recognize that he's, like, standing and shit because of his teleportation. I guess. Won't let me in there. Wow, imagine needing to take the elevator. Yeah, I've got some... I've got some charms. I don't know if you want to see them. I, I know you're working through your first time playing as well. In case I found anything that you haven't. Aside from this. open. Very nice. What's this? Record Abba. The mind still limits us, so. How to break past its constraints? To attain a pure focus? Is it even possible? Okay. You'd figure, like, Record Abba would be like, you know, Mamma Mia or something. Relax. Whoa, what's what's your deal, dude? Chill. Damn. I like being an asshole. Damn. Did not mean to do that. What is he? He's fucking hadoukening me. I'm getting hadoukened. Whoa. Yo, imagine you jump over a Hadouken in Street Fighter and it does that. Dude, he cheats. This guy's actually a cheater. Oh. 
Ooh. We're probably dead here, guys. I've already, like... I've already come to terms with that. Fuck. Shit. <laughs> Time to lock in. Yeah. I gave it the old college try, but that was that was a little rough. Thanks. So I guess we just go down and back around this way. I love I love the map guy. Ow, fuck. I love the map guy, but I'll be damned if like I after I find him I want him to stop humming. I would like for him to just be silent. Is that cruel? Is that mean of me to say? Maybe. Whoa. This happened to me last time as well. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, now there's two of these guys. Well, oh, this is bad. Ouch. Bruh. I'm actually about to die. Hey, come here. Can you come here, please? No! Alright, we're right back at 1 HP. You bitch. Yo, how is that even fucking fair? I forgot the I forgore. I forgore the right way to go. All right, that's two more deaths I have to add. There we go. So I didn't add the other one. All right, I just have to get there without being in fucking bullet hell. Man, that was ass, dude. What the hell? So let's see. The way that we got up there was by taking the elevator. This is a fight where I think I would need the, um... I got tired of his shit. Did 
Dude, this guy's an asshole. I hate these dudes. Come on. Come on. There we go. All right. Well, now where do I go? I imagine up. Up seems good. Up seems to have been bringing me toward good things. Man, these guys look so sad. I don't know what happened to them, but they, they do look very unfortunate. Speaking of unfortunate, my favorite enemy in all of the game. Another one, man. Dude, what is happening to me? Fucking DJ Khaled. Another one. Oh my god, release me. Please. This is foul. This is this is purgatory. Wh why am I here? Thank you. Alright. Now... Open the shortcut? Hell yeah. So I can come through and just come right across. That's nice. Yeah, those guys are annoying as hell. Is this a boss? Yes. No? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's probably a boss. No, don't do this. The Soul Master. Of course. Oh, but that's how you know where he's going to show up. Oh, never mind. What the fuck? Shit. No. Now he's faking me out. All right, I'm dead. Well, damn. Dude, these bosses are, like, picking up in difficulty way faster now. What the hell? The first, like, two or three bosses we fought, we beat in, like, two attempts. This is... This feels ridiculous. And I hate that the only bench that I have that's close to there is... Next to this guy. Because <laughs> he's so annoying. I love him. I really do. Soulmaster is a cool boss. I like him. I don't like that he's using projectiles. Yeah, getting to him seems really annoying. But now that we have the shortcuts, I think it's just a straight shot, if I'm not mistaken. And if I can get up there with a full... Actually, alright. I'm downloading the map into my brain. If I hug the right wall and get all the way to the top, once we start going across, it's a straight shot. I just need to hug right and go all the way up. So if I do that... Oh wait, that's not where the bench is. Where's my bench?
All right, for the first time, we are going to use... I think I'm going to take Balder Shell with us. I'm not sure how good it's going to be, but we're going to take it. How long have I been streaming? I started streaming for the first time, like, about two months ago. I think I started... Uh, my first live was, uh, February 15th or something? Um, so almost three months ago. Um, but I went live for the first time in February. So I'm pretty new, I would say. Yeah, thank you. I'm, uh... I'm having a good time. I've met some really, really cool people because of streaming. I'm thankful for that. What is this? Oh, this is where we went, yeah. Wait, what? They actually just go until they hit something. Man, that's so annoying. See ya, nerd. He will follow me to the ends of the earth, man. What made me want to stream? Um, so I've thought about streaming for like a really long time, but I had never really outwardly expressed that to anyone. And uh, this past year, a, a really close family member of mine died. Um, and the very last conversation that we had was um, that they thought I would be good at like making YouTube content and like doing online you know, content creation. And I said, what makes you say that? And they said, I don't know. It's just something that I think you would be really good at. And uh, that was the last conversation that we had before they died. And so, you know, after kind of processing that grief, I decided that I want to try. Um, I'd had money saved for, you know, a while. And I, you know, did the did the math and kind of figured out that I could take almost exactly a year. Um, so March of 2025, if I'm not, you know, self-sustainable off of content creation, I'll kind of just keep it as a hobby. But for now, I'm doing it full time. So I'm taking a year off of work um, as far as, you know, like what I was doing before. And... Uh, I'm doing this, and I'm just going to try. And so far, I think it's been good. I think the reception's been really nice, and I've been having a lot of fun. I'm just going to keep taking it a day at a time. Let's beat this boss. Yeah, I have a YouTube right now. It's Jober on Bots. Um... Dude, this guy is such an ass, man. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. 
Ouch. Ow. Oh, did I get him? I got him. Nice. Heck yeah. What's this? Huh? There we go. Dude, this guy was a cheater. Actually, he's just cheating. Phase three. Consumed the desolate dive. The, here we go. While holding down, tap B while holding down to strike the earth with a, earth with a burst of power. Spells will deplete soul, replenish soul by striking enemies. And that's what I needed in order to get those shortcuts open. So now we have lots of new places we can go. Excellent. Excellent. Of course, I need some soul to be able to do that. Um, but yeah, so we've got Joberon VODs for now. Um, and that's literally just re-uploads of my, um, my streams. Um organized into like playlists so that people who miss like anything or like want to see a certain game but you know maybe from their country wherever they're viewing it's not you know exactly available they can watch everything unedited with no ads um ads interrupting the video anyways and like causing you to miss something that you have to then go back later and watch uh youtube eventually may start putting ads in the middle of stuff and that's not exactly something i'm gonna you know Shit, I keep doing this wrong. Fuck. Damn. There we go. Now we got it. I think, uh, that should work? Yeah, it does. How long's the IRL word ban? Five minutes? Yeah, it's five minutes. What the heck? Soul Tyrant? Wait, what is this? Wait, what? Huh? 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 Oh no. 
Don't do this to me. I don't want to fight this guy, man. What the heck? Oh. All right, excellent. We don't have to fight this guy. Yeah, he's definitely too strong for us right now. I don't want to do that at the moment. I would I would much rather go and like explore the other areas that we were blocked out of. Thank you. Yo. Lots of stuff. Nice. Ow. This is quite unfortunate, though, because I'm lost. That's the first place that I dove down. Oh, nice. Yes, we are in the Soul Sanctum right now. Records Kenda. Senda? Spare thought for those consumed. Through their grace, we are evolved. No plague of mine shall overcome us now. Huh. actually died to normal enemies because I'm not paying attention and I don't have my compass after I've beaten the boss so I'm just damned new favorite song is gay fish the enemies here are called mistake and folly No. What the heck? No. I have like 18 billion things on me. Thank you. Oh gosh. Wow. Oh, dang. There we go. Whew. From South Park at Memester? Memester was saying that, uh... I've been watching a bunch of South Park... recently. It is from South Park.
The crawling are mistake, the floating are folly. I would very much like to be able to get a bench, man. Ow. Imagine trying to do a Hollow Knight no-hit run. Like, that'd be insane. Oh, nice. Wait a minute. Wait, where am I? Very nice. And now we can go to the Royal Waterway. Sorry if I missed you if you're feeling lost. Well, don't worry about that, Cornifer. Uh, let's change our things again. And we'll put back on the fungus and this. We don't have enough things to be able to wear Dream Shield with our Dash Master. Dash Master is like probably our most important thing that we're wearing right now, to be honest. There is something that way where we could go. Yeah, dang. Do I really want to go that way? Shoot. No, I kind of want to take the, uh, I want to, I want to take the stag up. Ouch. Mages are very tough on enemies, but you're stating the obvious. I mean, I agree completely. Even if it is an obvious statement, I, I will still say, like, those guys suck. They're tough. What's this way? Yes. A lift. Ah! Aha! Oh, nice. This is exactly what I needed.
Oh, you're ch wait a minute. I only had two he I only had two hearts. All right. Whoops. I wasn't paying attention. And now we're stuck all the Oh my gosh, I'm going to explode. Just got back from a Pokemon Unite stream. Started with ranked, went to casual and customs with viewers. It was very fun. That does sound really fun. Oh yeah, I do have to add the death. Thank you for reminding me. And thank you for trying. Chiro, I know you're not going to do me dirty. And thank you for coming and hanging out. There's no expectation with that, but you're a cool guy. So I figured I'd say thank you a little way I can. Oh wait, I could actually give you VIP. Streams are the best background noise for while you're in the office. Nice. Yeah, it is definitely nice being able to like tune into something and it's beyond just like the background noise of like a video or something, you can hear something that like engages you for a second and you go, oh, wait a minute. And then like you can make a comment or like a reaction or something like that. And then, you know, keep going with what you're doing. I feel like that's like a very popular way to enjoy streams. I'm going to explode after the, after the night just exploded. Yeah, dude, that got, that got me pissed. And they just so happen to be right below me like that, in the perfect position to ruin my life. Damn. Oh, wow. Another... So the circle, I imagine, is going to be our orb, no? Our orb is going to get bigger? Maybe. On the right track. Nice. I guess now that I've found the secret in here, I can leave. Probably. And now we're back in the crossroads. Excellent. Because the Forgotten Crossroads are where I wanted to go, because Crystal Peak is where we couldn't, we couldn't access anything in there because we didn't have this ability. I forgot that they let out children. There we go. is this? Is this one of those torches that the guy was asking us about? <clears throat> I think this is. But I don't know. But we're gonna worry about torches and other stuff like that later. I want to do more of like the, I think the base game before I mess with any of that stuff. Since I know that it's, it's DLC. Getting kind of whiplashed from the mood swing of Pokemon versus Hollow Knight. Nah, you're good. 
It is, it is definitely, I could definitely see that being his whiplash. That was Gru's mother room? Ah. That's who was there. I think this way is fine, right? Right, we found this way into the peak. But then I think the way above was the one that we couldn't get into. out and heal right quick. Oh no. There we go. Like that there are very, very many fossilized things in the game. Even the currency is basically fossils. And many backgrounds feature them. Huh. I think it's pretty cool. I um <clears throat> Oh nice. Now we have access to this. Oh excellent. <clears throat> I guess I have to go up and then on the way down, that's how I'm gonna get in. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see how this works. So it's it's a way to just get around and then there's the secret up there. Was there anything else that we couldn't access in Crystal Peak, I wonder? body cover my shell what meaning is darkness yet here I remain I'll wait forever till light blooms again very body cover shell darkness no meaning dangerous still remain light again what I thought you were happy singing you stopped you stopped digging why what happened This little bug was so happy. And now they're very sad. Nineteen ninety eight. 
I still don't have a map for this area. Oh, you're right, I could have dream nailed her. Dang. I forgot. Wait, what do you mean? What? Gonna learn for the rest of the stream? Thank you. It was good hanging out, Shiro. Yeah, I thought it was that orange stuff. I thought it was the orange slime. Like the light that they were mentioning. But I'm not sure anymore. I don't know what they're on about. But yeah, anybody talking about stuff that's like light or orange is uh, usually a little, a little loopy. This got turned off. Which is nice. I still can't access any of this. Can't get in here. Uh, 
Come to scale the mountain? I've heard of a summit way up there. Too far for me, though, and I'm not really one for heights. Purchase a map of the area? Yes. Oh, excellent. Wow, dude, the map for this game is huge. Saw that I destroyed one of the laser enemies? Yes, with my, uh, with my dive. So I'm curious that if magic is responsible for that, or if it's, um, just the dive. So I want to find out. So it looks like I can just kill them with magic. Quite nice. There's not enough time for me to recover after I heal. There we go. Very nice. I'm starting to get nervous about... ...stuff like that. Oh, nice. And now we can keep going up here. Uh, now we can't. Dang. We did get the bench, though. New bench acquired. Maybe there's... Yeah, I'm not sure what any of this could be. I need that to be open. I see where I have to go. A village behind the bench? Really? I didn't notice anything. Oh, you're right! These are like little houses. It's like the ones back in, um, uh, upstairs in Dirtmouth. The shopkeeper's key. Huh. I want to let me... Alright, well that's really annoying. Oh, because I don't have any... I don't have any shit. 
any, um, any damn stuff. May I please have one regular enemy? I'll talk to you. Quite a view, no? I'm not surprised you survived the trek through these shimmering caverns. There's an air of strength about you. I suspect it would be quite intimidating, if not for your small stature. Did it sadden you to see those miners below, still laboring at their endless task? Even overcome, the strong purpose has been imprinted upon their husks. The crystal ore it's said to contain a sort of energy, not as powerful as the soul city, the soul the city dwellers harnessed, but far less lethal. Strange to know such ancient facts. I wonder from where my knowledge comes. Wasn't there a funny ore that we needed to upgrade our nail again? At this high vantage, I can just make it out. The light from that sad little town. I doubt its residents could even comprehend the scale of the world that surrounds them. Hmm. So small it seems. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Dude, just as soon as I heal one HP, I take another damage. Uh, this is, uh... I would not call this ideal. Very nice. Let's see if I can heal. There we go. Pale ore. Ore with engravings before it's even mined. Shaky floor, a bit where the uh, miners were. Oh wait, there was shaky floor. Shaky floor, I missed. Oh my gosh, there was. Oh, but I don't have any juice. Hold on, guys. I gotta, I gotta juice up. Let's go sit at the bench. Actually. We need to sit at bench and then acquire some juice. Oh, you bastard, bro. I pressed the wrong button. my rancid egg. Looks like there's no shaky floor here. So it was just that little bit. Very nice. 
Yes, panel war is what the uh, smith wanted for the upgrade. I can't get up there though, my jump is not high enough. Would I be able to go down? No, I can't. So I have to go up and around maybe? Yeah, it is barely out of reach. Is it over here? Yeah, bench is over here. Let's go back to bench. I can hit him through the floor. Well, that's funny. All right, let's keep going. Let us keep going and exploring, exploring and going. Oh. Have I gone back to the Mantis Village Noble Room where they closed the doors on me? I, I don't know how to find that room again is the unfortunate part. I didn't mark it. So I have not even the faintest idea of how to get back there. I can try. Can't get back here either. This is very unfortunate. All right, let's leave. Um, Oh wait, there's uh, money over here. Nice. So let's see if I can get back there. To get to Mantis room. Wow, this area is loud as hell. I'll tell you what. Damn, bastard. Damn.
It's not major progression, but would be progression for 100%. Well, I think I need to fight the dung man, maybe. Resting grounds are that way. I did find the dung man. We, uh, we didn't have this ability to be able to break the thing, so the bench was insanely far. There's a bench. I saw there were signs for a bench that I could get if I had the ground pound. And, uh, I didn't have it until just now. So after I got the ground pound, I wanted to come back here because I knew that there was stuff here and I wasn't sure if I might be able to find like an easier boss or like, you know, maybe an upgrade just by itself or something or a secret. So we got some stuff. I'm going to go up to the, uh, uh, dirt mouth. I guess we go down to the stag is probably faster than trying to go that way. Here we go. I found Crystal Guardian. I had no problem with, yeah. And then there is... Oh, you're right, I guess I did find an easier boss. Dirt Mouth, yes. Wait, what? How did I find it in such a remote place? Wait, what was he saying? What did I find? Oh, his storeroom key. Now I can open up the storeroom. Rare stock, gathering dust. These items may be a little time-worn, but they retain their full market value. Very precious stuff. Take a look. Oh, so that's a fucking shop upgrade? No way. Elegant key? What? Stalwart shell? What? Heavy blow? Sprint master? Interesting. Alright, I will purchase sprint master. I will also purchase a vessel fragment. Wow. I can buy another mask shard as well. But I want these limited items he has first. I want the elegant key, first of all, because key is progression. Progression is good. Gathering swarm. I want all of these little things eventually, so I'm going to buy these. Uh, I will also buy heavy blow. And the stalwart shell. Will I need these? Who knows? But now I've gotten some stuff.
And we do have more soul that we can store. Very cool. Very cool indeed. And then there's King's Pass, the Howling Cliffs. It's like plus 25% soul capacity or so. Don't know the exact volume. Look there, something strange and sinister has suddenly appeared. Oh, it fills me with dread. I think it's best to try and ignore it. We've already been in here. No, no, we want to talk to the lady here. Hello? <sighs> ba -panada. Unfortunately, we're he's cleaned out. All right, no idea what he's gonna spend the geo on. All right, so we have everything that the town has had to offer us. That's very nice. Very nice indeed. And then there's um, there's something up here. Right, didn't I get another key? And somebody said I could do something with this? Yes, use a simple key. We have to enter like this. Really? Whoa, hi. Uh, Welcome, small intruder. I've been sound asleep in here for some time. Some time? Ah, yes, yes. Well, now you've gone and woken me up. It's no matter, I suppose. I might even be able to help you. I am Gigi. And if you have found your way into my chamber, you must need my help. You see, sometimes we leave our regrets behind in the world, like black stains. If we don't deal with these regrets, hope starts to drain from us. Do you have regrets of your own, little one? Let me peer into you for a moment. Ah, you don't appear to have any lingering regrets. How lucky for you. You don't need the services of one such as I. Oh, what? Ah, starring. They have a strange look to them, gaudy and imitating. Perhaps you suspect they hide their true appearance? You'd be right. They favor projection over truth, shrouding themselves in form stream. Best be careful, assisting them might benefit you, but who knows what suffering it may cause. What? How long I must have slept. This land is so much darker now, so thick with the stains of regret. Even the air is murkier. If I sleep again, will the darkness creep in here and swallow me whole? Well, that's grim. This is the service that you said would be useful in Elden Ring. Interesting. I still am not sure what the service of regret implies, but maybe we'll find out. Uh huh. Would I like to know what it is? Um. Zippo, I'll allow you to use your judgment. If you feel that it's a spoiler for the greater story, don't tell me. But if you feel that it's something trivial, then you can let me know. You think it's trivial? All right. Yeah, go ahead and tell me. And can save me a headache later. Excellent. This guy's showering me with gifts. Grub song? What the hell is grub song? Contains the gratitude of freed grubs. Gain soul when taking damage. Interesting. Not a spoiler, you can get your rancid, give rancid eggs and get my spirit delivered. If we die and my shadow is too much of a pain to get, getting my geo back as well. It spawns the shade in the room. Ah, that is quite nice. Ba 
Aber aber. Ouch. So far, I don't think I've lost any Geo, like at all. Oh. Wait a minute, this was the place that I needed the uh, thing for. The wall jump. I just forgot it was here. Very nice. To unstuck the souls from a boss room. Indeed. There is a useful trick that you can do in most of the Souls games. Actually, I think every Souls game. If you walk into the boss room, you collect your souls and then get to an area where you have enough time to menu and like quit the game and exit, you'll have all of your souls on your person, but you'll be like brought outside the boss room again and then you can leave. You can effectively do the same thing, but it's annoying that you do have to like quit out and like mess with stuff like that. Ouch. I go the wrong way. Ooh, good to know. In Elden Ring, you would use a sacrificial twig, grab your souls, die, and then respawn with all your runes. That's likely the intended design choice. It's likely not intended for you to be able to retrieve your souls from a boss room, and that's like the scary part about going in. Like, oh, I have all these souls. I don't want to die. Um. But it's in the game and hasn't been patched out. I don't. I don't really know if there's any way that they could patch out. You know, being able to quit out and keep your souls. Um, but yeah, in almost every, I think in every Souls game, you can do that. Dark Souls 1, it works. Dark Souls 2, it works. 3, Elden Ring. Bloodborne, I'm sure. But yeah, that quitting is cheating. You can kind of bench warp in Hollow Knight as well. Ah, I see. Whoa. Yeah, it's all Jover. What the hell, dude? This guy is freaking ridiculous. Am I excited for the Elden Ring DLC? Indeed, I am. Elden Ring DLC is gonna be awesome. This is the grave of an old friend. I was walking by the tombstone. Noticed a strange kind of chanting coming from somewhere nearby. Looked around to find the source and saw two bright, horrible, huge eyes staring at me from the door's dark cave. Huh. I pretended I hadn't heard the voice or seen and or seen the eyes and scurried back to town. My friend will have to wait a little longer for her visit. That's eerie. But yeah, I'm very excited for Elden Ring DLC. That was part of what prompted my uh my playthrough. Really? All right, hello. She regrets left behind. Yes. Ah, uh, very hungry. Part with a little of my food? Yes. Give E.G. a rancid egg. Yes. Oh, I enjoyed this morsel tremendously. Now, as promised, we will begin the ritual. Very nice. 
so we get all of our stuff back. That's that's actually quite useful. So I ended up going toward where? Wait, how did I even get there? Was it Green Path? I don't even remember where I went. Oh my god. I think it was this way. I was kind of absent-mindedly just... walking and talking. And ended up somewhere I hadn't been before. Almost certainly it was this way. No, it wasn't Green Path. And now I don't actually remember how to get back to where I was. That's actually quite a big problem. I shouldn't have done that, because now I don't know where I was. You can get to it before False Night if I pogo off of the spikes. You saw someone at YouTube get kind of stuck on it for like 30 minutes because they just started and it's a difficult boss. Pogoing going off of the spikes? But was I in crossroads, or where was I? I just don't even remember. The wastes? No. Stone sanctuary. I was in Forgotten Crossroads. Yeah, I do think it's really annoying that, like, in order to track bosses that you've killed, you have to track them yourself. It doesn't, like, tell you where the room was. That is... It might be, like, a cool thing and, like, add to, like, getting lost and stuff, but I think it's just a waste of time. Interesting in theory and execution, I think it's kind of just an annoyance. I've been there before. I have a map. Tell me where the room was. But it was this way, it looks like. Yeah. The tall room with the platforms go left, but not to green path, and it was here. Ah, damn. Aw, oh, nuts. Off the spikes on the wall, you can pogo to get beaten by Molek early. That's pretty funny. Alright, so where exactly am I? I'm here. Dude, I'm stuck inside him. What the fuck? Ow. Alright, well that's fucking ridiculous. 
Ugh. I also detest that... Uh, can I take Sprint Master? I can take Sprint Master. Oh, I can... I can hold R to sprint? Wait, this thing sucks. Am I sprinting right? I'm just holding down R. Oh, you just can't sprint in town, I guess. Okay, I was like, this is useless. I was about to be like, actually upset. All right, there we go. So I'll head back down. Ah, so it makes your move speed faster, but just not in the town, I see. That's excellent, that's extremely useful. Yeah, Sprint Master is like the fucking best thing I've ever seen in my life, all right. You fucking... There we go. It was added in a patch and many players were happy. Yeah, the base move speed I think for the game is really slow. Now of course I have to get used to moving again with the sprint. This is really awful. I see. And then you hold B and then it adds your sprint back to your thing. I see. Your sprint, your soul. Oh my god. All right. Let's see if we can get this this time. That's that's ridiculous, man. He can jump on top of you in the cutscene. Dude, I hate this guy, bro. The, what the fuck, man? This guy's actually like annoying as fuck. Imagine that this can be the first boss opposite pinwheel problem. Yeah, you can access this guy right away, but I feel like you have to like... I feel like you'd have to kind of know where you were going. I feel like the pogoing like, pogoing off of the spikes there, I doubt that anybody would be able to into it from, like, looking at a game like this. Unless maybe, like, this is your first 2D game, then you might not necessarily, or you've never played, like, a Metroidvania before. Maybe you're not familiar that, like, a wall jump is, like, a game's thing. But I think most people who have played a game before or have seen games will look at that and go, I need to get a wall jump. That's an ability. 
I need to get that later. I'm just going to come back. I feel like most gamers are going to be able to intuit that. Even if they're not, like, particularly experienced. This would have to be, like, a somebody's, like, a first game type of thing. And Hollow Knight doesn't strike me as the type of game that, like, people are going to be like, Oh, this is the first game I've ever played. Surely there's somebody who has. And also, there could be those who, like, they know what a wall jump is, and they've seen it in games before, but they just might not make that connection. But I feel like it's safe to assume that most people would. Seen some player who played Shovel Knight earlier go to Malek as the first boss blind. Shovel Knight, I feel like, is a game that would kind of condition people to, like, do stuff like that. Coming right from Shovel Knight to this, because I've not played Shovel Knight, but I do know, like, I've seen gameplay of Shovel Knight, and I know that, like, the pogoing off of things with the shovel is, like, a core game mechanic of how you navigate everything. Um. So that is, like, something where, like, oh, there's probably a secret back here or something. Some Shovel Knight guy would find. But that's where you've kind of gone from, like, it, like if you're fighting this as your first boss, knowing nothing about 2D games, I think that's torture. If you're a Shovel Knight, you know, G, and you you can spot this, then I feel like it'll, it's also kind of, like, on you to be like, alright, am I really supposed to be here right now? Probably not. Because I don't think this game introduces, like, the, the pogoing as, like, a core game mechanic at all. Now, what do I need to do to make sure that I don't die to this asshole? You get too close to him and he does this. Oh no. Damn. Ow. Ouch. Ah, uh, you can't get away from that. And I can't jump over him, dude. My jump is too small. Yeah, I can't- I actually can't clear him unless I'm on top of that other platform. Oh no, I can, sometimes. What the fuck? This is weird as fuck, man. I don't think I'm supposed to be here yet. The walk to Moloch- you see many Moloch corpses implying this was once a common species, but this is one of the last- of the crossroads population. Uh huh. I'll try this, because why not? And I guess I'll take sprint? What the fuck, dude? Oh, that's pretty fucking funny. Alright, yeah, we'll do this. You can't dash, like, near infinitely like I was doing before, but that's fine. 
And I'm also gonna get my soul before I go in so that hopefully I can walk in the boss room with a full, really? full can. Oh yeah, boy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh boy, yeah. Yes. Take an egg. I know I have a bunch of them and they serve oh, no purpose. I so. Wow, and it looks like this does damage as well. Oh, dude, this is fucking sick. It does an attack on my attack as well. This thing is really funny. My silly little worm guys. I am going the wrong way, I think. Fuck. Was it this one? Yes. It shatters for a bit after blocking. Yes. But this will be an additional source of damage and could maybe, like, sometimes save me when I'm in the corner and I'm gonna be taking less bullshit damage from this guy. I don't like the way that his room is. In combination with his attacks. There's some bosses that feel fun to, like, evade and fight that we fought so far. This one does not feel very fun. It feels kind of just annoying. But that could just be a matter of preference. Ah, uh, yeah, this is, this is fucking insane, by the way. All right. Ah, uh, but it doesn't exactly work. Oh, if I charge it. Uh, yeah, this doesn't exactly do everything that I was hoping it would do. Uh. Yeah, there's no way to control where it goes, is the only unfortunate thing. Mmm, I think we're fucked. Yeah, we are. It has to be above me to be useful, and that's why it's not used much. It looks very cool, but it's honestly utterly useless. Uh huh. I think Soul Catcher and maybe Stalwart Shell. I think that could be the best combination, but I'm not sure. So we'll find out. The shield was also added in a patch. You've seen someone equip it and have a meh reaction. Yeah, I mean, I feel like seeing, upon seeing the like spinning, it's like, you already know that it's not gonna be very useful. The fact that it gets faster when you, when you charge your soul is cool. If there was some toggle that I could do for it to make it spin faster or stop spinning and hold it in like that position, that would be really interesting. But then at that point, I feel like it would become too powerful and everyone would use it. Um, that's the thing with like a game like this. If you're not designing every enemy around being able to like block shit, 
then you add a shield into the game. The shield is either gonna be like, not really the most useful thing in the world or is going to be like the best thing in the entire game. There's kind of no in between. For a game like this. So I kind of understand why it's like lackluster. Don't have Sprint Master anymore. But it's Sprint Master I don't think was really assisting us all too much. We're taking the added invulnerability frames, and we're taking Yeah, I think this, this boss is best done probably with these two. I think this is the most success that we've had. Oh yeah, we got him. Because we could just trade with him forever, right? There we go. What do you give me now? Another mask shard? Nice. The boss that I beat by just deciding that I have to trade with him over and over again and heal is the one that gives me a shard for more HP. And that's it. He's dead. That was literally the only thing that he had. He didn't give me anything else. I was... I was hoping for a little bit more, honestly. But Soul Vessel and this, I actually think are pretty... It's a pretty strong combo. Um, I don't know, though. Uh, sorry, one second. Forgive the interruption. And now we're back. So I've got to figure out. Where'd it go? The boss was built for you to jump over him when he spits the big blast, but trading with him also works. Yeah, that's the thing, but even when you're like, you're spacing with him, he'll jump like to you. I think I understand, like, the idea behind him. I just don't like him. I tend to dislike a lot of, like, bullet hell type shit. And, uh, like, a mess of weird shit on the screen at any given time. Um, I much, I much rather have, like, one attack that I'm looking for and then focusing on the timing 
for it. Um, or maybe a series of attacks and uh, attacks and like a combo, and then being able to weave in damage in between those those blows. That's the stuff that I think is like easiest for my brain to process. Um, but bullet hell just kind of tilts me. And when he starts spitting all of those projectiles, and then I'm dodging the projectiles, I also have to make sure I'm spaced far enough away from him that he's not going to hit me. Um, and then I have to watch for him to jump and pay attention if he's doing, like, a little spit or if he's doing a big one. That's where I'm like, man, there's, like, so much shit going on here. This is annoying. So that's why I just put this on and was like, I'll kill him. Yeah. I don't think we fought anything, though, that is even close to being, like, this is bad. I think the, um... The bosses that we fought have been good, for the most part, or have been, like, just not to my preference, but I understand the design. Is this the Temple of the Egg thing? Yeah, it is. So in order for us to go here, we have to, I imagine this is like, we have to beat these three guys. But I haven't even been able to find one of them yet. What I also want to find are more notches. Notches would be very nice. Um, so let's put on Dash Master again, the Compass, and Sprint Master. The dreamers are mostly locked for now. So I still need more abilities. Oh, where's, um... Where the hell's that lady? Was she in the resting grounds? The spirit's glade? No, she's... Somewhere. Fungal wastes? No. Where the hell's Baba Yaga? Where's, uh, where's the, where's the, the magic bug? Where did we find her? I for, I for gore. I think she's here. The Essence Moth is in the resting grounds. Okay. Nice. I guess that is a dream catcher. I thought it was, um, honestly, it looked like a water wheel for a second. Instead of a face. Gotcha. We are at 300 for these now. Oh, wielder. We have a look at the dream now. 300 essence. Yes. Certainly made my dreary work here more exciting. Being the caretaker of this place hasn't been very stimulating. I shouldn't complain, though. Tending these graves and guiding the wielder. 
all penitence for old, old crimes. Certain things have to be kept in balance. Take this trinket for your efforts, and return with 500 essence. Keep up your tireless work. A pale ore! No fucking way! Hey, yo, that's sick. Alright. Wait a minute, that's fucking dope. Uh, where's... Where's the upgrade guy, though? Was he in Mantis Village? I feel like he was in Mantis Village, but I don't remember. I guess Green Path is the closest. Or maybe Queen Station. Yeah, Queen Station is probably closest. The Nailsmith is in the city? The City of Tears? Is he that guy? Bottom right above the waterways? It is that guy. Wait a minute. It says there's a scarab there, but I haven't been there before. What? Alright, so then let's go to the crossroads and take the elevator. I guess I didn't. Aw, oh, you bitch. I can't even believe it. Spikes on the fucking roof. I didn't. I will insert Geo. Yes. Very nice. Now we can get to the City of Tears really easily. Uh, now we go down. Ow. Oh, double ow. Fuck. Just keep going down, I guess. Ow, damn. So it's a third. So the vessel will hold, like, essentially every one of those is, like, one full use of a spell. It's a third of, uh, of, like, the total mask. Because the mask is three when it's full. Or the soul vessel or whatever you call it. Oh, that guy got fucked up. Aw, oh, bitch.
Take me down. To Paradise City. Where the grass is green and the girls are pretty. So it is now 25% of my current soul. Exactly. Yeah, there we go, nail guy. I did not mean to do that, whoopsies. Yeah, Ranjo Stinda, I have returned. I need 800 Geo? Aw, mm. oh, fuck you, dude. You said that you needed Pale Ore. Don't make me waste time to come back here and then say that you need 800 Geo after the fact. That's so stupid, man. That's the other thing that's thoroughly annoying about, about like, NPC dialogue upgrade things like this is that's a needless waste of time in my eyes. There's, it, unless he told me that there's Geo that he needs as well, then I'm just an idiot and I'm complaining for no reason. And it's my fault. I'm an idiot as the player. But if I'm not mistaken, the only thing that he said he needs is if I bring him some pale ore, he'll upgrade my nail. Maybe I had to pay him the first time and that was the context clue that I needed. But I'm upset about it. I'm choosing to be upset. Because I didn't know. I just knew I needed Pale Ore. Bitch. I don't like that... Well, I guess I didn't need to do that. It would have done it on its own, right? I didn't need to press B to bring the soul back in there. Uh-huh. So where's Dung Man? I guess we can go beat the shit out of him now, right? Dung Man's back down here. Goodness, it scared the shit out of me. One of my one of my roommates entered my entered my dwelling, bearing gifts. <laughs> Good God! Oh man! funny. Holy shit. Oh, I broke the bench. Uh, where is our dung fella? 
by the way. Is he over here? I hate these fucking enemies. In Enter the Gungeon, the elevator upgrade man wants 120 shell casings and three keys as one of his quests. On the shortcut to floor two. I don't know what it has to do with the upgrade here, but that guy asks for everything once. Can't give it to him as one of those things. But that guy asks for everything at once. Can't give to him one of those things, then another. Just all at once. So what you're saying, the guy in Enter the Gungeon asks for the 120 shell casings and three keys? And you can't, like, give them to him? You can't give those things to him in, like, in parts? He asks for everything all at once? We need an ability for that, almost certainly. Man, having... It's moments like that where, like, you get the shit scared out of you by something, like, happening behind you. That's that's where I do think it would be funny every now and then for me to have face cam. But, uh... I'm not, I'm not sold on that idea. I don't think, uh... I don't think I'm gonna do that. Man, these guys are bastards. Is this acid or water? It's water, good. Hey, Spiff. Aha, it's down here. Well, shit. Oh, I see, and that's why it gave me so many fucking enemies to fight there. Damn it. He wants that and... He wants all that and that, not or? Oh, God, that's funny. That's a pain in the ass. Back from the beyond. Welcome. We're doing a little bit more exploring down here, and then, um... I'm gonna go, uh... I'm gonna... I'm gonna sit... Sit and eat some... Some food. We'll, uh, we'll swap monitors for a little bit, and, uh, maybe, uh, maybe we can have more, uh, we can look at, like, memes or something like that while I eat. Ah, shit. Or if Ziffo's feeling, uh, Feeling up to it, maybe he can impart on us some more wisdom with regard to the animal kingdom. Ah, oh, shit. Nice. 
not wisdom. Oh shit. My only weakness. Wasn't am I am I mistaken or was the uh Is the poop guy down here? Aw, oh, you're kidding. Make it if it's gonna be alive, make it interactable. That's that's the only thing that's really annoying about that. I would I would like to be able to kill that thing right from when it sits down on the ground. How many grubs have I found of the little green ones? Uh, too many to count. A lot. Um, I think our last reward that we got was, uh, look at the appetizing, an aptly named bleeding tooth fungus while eating. Let's not and say we did. What the fuck is this? Is this a boss? Is this thing nice? Boss that's just fucking ads, man. This is the worst. This is the worst fucking thing. Alright. This is this is disgusting. Alright. Um Let's quit the menu. Progress will be saved. I'll I'll respawn at the bench, right? Surely. All right. Let's pull up a new window, and uh, we're gonna end this session with this first, I guess, little segment uh, while I eat, and then we'll come back. We'll keep playing. See you guys in a little bit. Oh wait, we have to add more deaths. Oh my god, we have, we're have we so behind on deaths. Oh, I wasn't counting them. Oh, we have no mods. Fuck. Well, is what it is.